Here is an integral or an antiderivative that we haven't learned how to solve yet, uh, but it's not going to be too difficult. Let's start by trying to rewrite this expression or, or see if we can simplify it in any way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up the fraction into two fractions. So x squared divided by the square root of x plus 1 divided by the square root of x. Okay. And if you're having trouble seeing that, well, just think of going in the other direction. When you add fractions, you add the numerator and the denominator, just the, the, that common denominator just stays the same. So we, we, we know that these two expressions are the same thing. Okay. And now I want to write that square root as a power. So this is going to be x squared divided by x to the 1 half plus 1 divided by x to the 1 half. And since we have a power in the denominator, that's the same thing as having a negative exponent in the numerator. So this is going to be x squared times x to the negative 1 half plus just simply x to the negative 1 half. And I realize I made a mistake. Sorry for those of you who caught that and were maybe distracted by it. Anyways, so that's a 1 half there. Okay, so we, we've gotten this far. Now let's just simply multiply these two. When we multiply bases, we add exponents. So what is 2 minus 1 half? It's just 3 halves plus x to the negative 1 half. And now we have something that we can, can solve for because we know how to use our antiderivative power rule to, to find these antiderivatives, or this antiderivative. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, you add 1 to the exponent, so 3 halves plus 1 is 5 halves, and then you divide by that new exponent, so divided by 5 halves, plus uh, negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half, and now we divide by that new exponent. And of course, since this is an indefinite integral, we have to add c. Okay, so there you have it. We've found our, our, our antiderivative. In general, I like to take this at least one step further in terms of simplifying. And instead of writing this as dividing by a fraction, I want to write it as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I'm going to write this as 2 fifths times x to the 5 halves plus 2 times x to the 1 half plus c. And now to me this is a satisfactory, uh, a satisfactory answer in terms of simplifying the answer. So if, if your teacher accepts this or if you're okay with this, I think this is a perfectly good answer. If your teacher wants you to simplify even further, or maybe your textbook always simplifies as far as it can take it, and you want to see how they do that, then stick around and I'll show you how to simplify this more. If not, then this is the end of the video for you, and, and that's the answer. Okay, for those of you who do want to know how to simplify this further, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at uh, the x's. They, there's an x to the 1 half in, in, here in both terms. And so I'm going to pull that out. And I'm also going to pull out this fraction to kind of get it out of the way. So I have 2 fifths times x to the 1 half. And now I have to figure out what do I need to multiply by to make sure that once I multiply this in, that I'll get these two terms back, this term and this term. And of course, we can't forget our plus c. So what do I need to do? Well, 
x to the 1 half times x to the what power will give me x to the 5 halves. So the exponents add, so 1 half plus what is 5 halves? Well, 1 half plus 2. And the fraction is 2 fifths, so, so that stays the same, that's fine. So this first term is fine. When we multiply that in, we'll get 2 fifths x to the 5 halves. And now plus what? Well, we don't need any x's because we already have x to the 1 half, so we have the, the correct amount of x's, so to speak. And we have a 2 here, so we need whatever we multiply this by, we need this 2 fifths to simplify simply to 2. So we can multiply by 5, because now this 5 and this 5 will cancel, and we'll just be left with 2x to the 1 half. OK, so that's the bulk of the simplification. And now I'm just going to write this as 2 fifths times the square root of x instead of x to the 1 half. x squared plus 5 all plus c. In general, I don't think it was necessary to, to simplify this far, but if you were curious, that's how you would do it. Okay, see you in the next video.